Hello my beautiful friends. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all that I know about multimasking. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about it but uh, let's together find out what is it and what is all this hype about. Before that my name is Romy and welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to share it with your friends and family plus um, if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that so without further ado let's get started what I did um, I researched a bit about multimasking so I just typed it on Google so uh, I'll share with you what I found about multimasking so um, as all the beauty experts are saying that one mask cannot heal all the beauty problems that we have so different areas of our skin have different requirements so we should be doing multi-masking for example um, your under eyes might be dry so you might be needing something different your um, same goes for your t-zone and your chin your uh, cheeks so I went ahead and I chose three face masks for my skin and uh, so my skin is usually normal but in winters it tends to be a bit dry so today I'm going to be sharing with you three face masks which I think will be very good for normal to dry skin and if you go to the body shop website you can see they have all that information about which mask you should be using for your skin type so this one is for normal oily or combination skin and then the next one is for normal dry skin and the last one is for normal to dehydrated skin so you can do whatever your skin feels like so today I am going to be doing three face masks so first I'll be using the Chinese ginseng and rice face mask and as you all know this uh, face mask is very good for illuminating your dull and uneven skin tone and it also exfoliates your skin so first uh, go ahead and cleanse your skin with whichever cleanser you prefer and then after that pat dry your face and then grab your mask whichever you have so for my forehead I'm going to for my forehead and my nose which is my t-zone I'm going to be using the Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing mask and I'm going to apply it all over my forehead and my nose which is my t-zone like this if you want to know more properties about the particular face mask I'm using please go ahead and watch my body shop haul so there I have mentioned all the properties of this face mask and then you can accordingly choose whatever you feel like is good for your skin so after that one small tip which I would like to share is that once you apply a particular face mask and you want to switch to another one for your different um, zone of your face then just grab a bowl of water and clean your brush like this it's very important to clean your brush because we'll be using a different face mask this time and the next one which I'll be using for my cheeks is this uh, it's the British Rose fresh plumping mask as you know British Rose uh, has fresh rose petals and let me go ahead and show you how does it look like so it looks like this and this is a gel mask it reveals your glow it gives you a very good glow on your skin so I'll go ahead and grab a little bit with the help of this brush and I'll apply it on my cheeks like that And also on this portion of my face okay now I'm done with the British Rose one now again as before I will go ahead and clean this brush with some water 
Now for my chin, I am going to use the Amazonian Akai Energizing Radiance Mask. So this mask helps to fight signs of fatigue and this is an energizing mask. So it has fresh Akai berries and it will give a very good glow and energize your chin. So I'll go ahead and apply it on my chin. Like that. And I feel like I should apply the same for my neck as well. So I'll go ahead and apply it on my neck. So as you can see, I have applied it on my chin and my neck. Now I'll wait for a good 15 to 20 minutes and after that I'll just wash it off and then I'll come back and meet you here. So yeah, it's been a good 20 minutes. I went ahead and I washed off my face and then I dried my face with a face towel. So after that, uh, what I personally prefer to do is apply a toner. So for the sake of this video, I'm using my British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner and I'll apply it on a cotton piece and then I'll go ahead and apply it all over my face. So what a toner does is, is um, if the mask could, was not able to remove all the impurities from your skin, the toner will help and uh, it will clean all the impurities and all the dead cells from your skin. And also it tones and um, adds an extra layer of protection to your skin. So I personally like to do it. So there. And yeah, so I'm done. After this, you can go ahead and apply your uh, moisturizer. So whichever moisturizer you prefer, you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, that's all for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So I'll see you in my next video. Till then, keep smiling and have fun. Bye.